Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about compilation process. In our previous video, we discussed about basics of C. But in this video, we are going to discuss about when you type a C program, how the compiler will behave and what all are the process will take in care during compilation. Basically, the compilation process in C transform a human readable code into a machine readable format. Meaning of human readable code means whatever the C program we are typing or the user or programmer will type. The machine readable format means in which format machine will understand. We can see this compilation process with one example. For an example, I am talking in English. The same way, if you doesn't know the English, you know only Hindi or Tamil, then in that case, if you want to understand what I am communicating or what I am saying, then you need a translator. For the same case, for machine, they need, machine need a compiler. That's what about the compilation process. You can see in this slide, we have written a source code here. So it's written in a C language and after compilation process, this will become the machine code. Machine code means it's in binary or zeros and ones. Zeros and ones can be understand by machine. Now we can see about the compilation steps. Basically, there are four steps involved in the compilation process. One is pre-processing, next one is compiling, another one is assembling, then the final one is linking. First, we can in this video we can see each and every steps in more deeper. You can end first we can understand about how the compilation steps or compilation process will happen. You can see it here. This is a pre-processing step, meaning we are typing our source code. This can be understand by human. Now, during compilation, it will be expanded. The same source code will be expanded during compiling. Then it will go to the assembler, assembling. So from there, it will be generated as an object code. From there, this will be generated as an executable file, meaning .exe or .out. We can understand in this video more deeper about how all these steps will be processed. First, we can start with pre-processing. You can see this slide. This is a normal program as written by the user or programmer they have mentioned about some commanding lines they have in, uh, they have defined the macro then they have included header files and normal function and function body finally they have a written statement during pre-processing the uh, mainly four steps will happen so the first one is comments removal for an example here the user has added some comments that will be removed during pre-processing then macros will be expanded so whatever the macros will be mentioned here then this will be expanded then file inclusion meaning of the standard header files so you have seen this picture here the header files will be added or included during pre-processing and conditional compilation the meaning of conditional compilation means if you have some other X macro for an example ash if or ash if def or ash end if ash else if this will be processed during the function body then in that case based on your macro defined value the conditional compilation will happen so after pre-processing this will generate as an intermediate file that's called as a dot i file the meaning of intermediate file is this will use to check for the syntax errors so this intermediate file will be output of pre-processing then the same intermediate file will be given to the compiling or compiler software so during compiler process, the intermediate file will be changed to as an assembly file. So this will be converted as an assembly level instructions. So you know that the assembly level instruction means it's a low level code, meaning this assembly level instructions will be written always on the hardware side. This is the compilation process. This will convert .i file, meaning intermediate file into assembly file. Then during assembler or assembling steps, the assembly level instructions will be converted as a binary or hexadecimal format, which can be understand by machine. So we can say during the assembler will convert assembly level instruction into machine readable format, meaning of binary or in hexadecimal. And this will come with the extension of .o that will become as an object file. It has the binary code. And during linking, this object file will be linked. 
so in that case during a linking multiple object files also will be linked so in that during the linger stage the function definition will be checked and at the same time libraries also will be considered during linking what do you mean by this libraries for an example the function definition will be written by some other company or by some other team and they want to hide their source code and they have to deliver as a library in that case the library with the extension of .lib or .a or .o file so all these things will be happen during linking and finally this will produce a .output file meaning executable file maybe it can be a .out or .exe based on the operating system where you are using or based on the software or compiler which you used this is the normal process of compilation and you can see this picture here i have mentioned the complete information about how your source code will be processed during compilation see we have typed the source code that means we can consider like a initial file hello.c here i have some um, statement or the complete uh, normal program maybe you can consider like some print up statements are mentioned here then this will go to the preprocessor during the preprocessor as you all already know that some four steps will happen for an example header file will be included comments will be removed and we have a file inclusion and conditional compilation and macros expansion these all the things will happen during preprocessor and preprocessor will produce a dot i file intermediate file in this intermediate file will go to the compiler from there this will generate a assembly code file meaning low level code then this will go to the assembler from there this will generate a object file then this object file will go to the linker meaning multiple object files will be combined during the linking state for an example if you have type or if you have a multiple c files and during linking these all object files will be linked and finally this will we will get a executable file and this executable file we can execute and see the output so based on your program it will show the output yeah the takeaway from this video is basically compilation process in c is also known as the process of con converting human understandable code into machine understandable code and compilation process has four steps preprocessing the preprocessor tool in you will do the it helps in comments removal and macros expansion file inclusion and conditional compilation and second step is compiler so or compiling it will boost the program performance and translate the intermediate file into an assembly file that is the best thing of compiler software and assembler will convert the assembly file into object file and finally linker will link all the object file with the library file if it is has then finally it will produce the executable file this is the basic understanding of compilation process and this is one of the important interview question if you will uh, for an example if you are going on interview the interviewer will ask can you explain about the compilation process the same question will be asked for fresher level meaning entry level engineers the same time to the more experienced people as well hope you got a clear idea about the compilation process thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content or more programming language details in c please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day